Hello everyone, today I'm going to be making a tutorial of this cute book sleeve. It can be used as a bag, it's beginner friendly. Uh, for this project you're going to need scissors, a darning needle, and a G-hook and some worst weighted yarn. Let's get started. First we're going to start off with 30 chains. For round one you're going to single crochet into the second chain from hook and then make a single crochet across. For round 2 to 56, you're going to chain 1 and single crochet across. And once you've completed that, you're going to single crochet evenly around, making increases on the corner. And once you're done with that, you're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet on the very top. And then you're going to fasten off and we'll move on to the panels. Okay, now for the panels, I'm using two different color strands. They're much thinner than the worst weighted yarn, but it's going to crochet beautifully with the G-hook. You can have fun with this. You can use different colors or use one solid color. It's really up to you. We're going to chain seven and single crochet in each chain across, which is going to make a total of six. Now once you've done that, you're going to turn, chain one, and you're going to do six single crochet across for 26 rows. And once you've completed that, you're going to fasten off, and you're going to make two of these, one for each side of the panel. Now we're going to be working on our straps. And for the straps, you're going to chain five. You're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into the next three chains for a total of four single crochet. Now for round 2 to 276, you're going to chain 1 and single crochet across for a total of 4 single crochet. Once you've crocheted all 276 stitches, you're going to want to sew them together, but make sure you do it evenly so that the strap doesn't twist. And also you're going to want to mark them. You could do it while you're crocheting. You want to mark for first 58, then 80 for the strap, and then 58 for the cover again, and then 80 again for the strap. And then you're going to add it onto the cover as so. Where it's marked 58, you're going to mark them around the cover and you're gonna want to put them four stitches like the markers one right there two three and four that's where you're gonna sew it down straight down and then on the other side you're gonna count from the marker three and that's where you'll be sewing it on on the other side make sure you do that evenly so that you don't skip any stitches and then we'll do the panels okay once you've sewed on your straps it should look like this and now for the straps we're going to single crochet evenly around okay you want to make sure you do it nice and evenly and you're gonna do 26 down and then should be six on the bottom and then 26 going up which should total 58 okay once you've done that we're going to slip stitch around on the top to give it like a tighter finish. Again, make sure you do this evenly. If not, it's gonna be an even on top. So you wanna slip stitch in each stitch. Now, we don't want to slip stitch over the straps so that it doesn't lose the style. So you're gonna slip stitch between the stitches from the inside. And it'll be easy to do because they're not sewn together on the very top you can just continue to do that around okay once you're finished doing the slip stitches you're going to fasten off and then weave in the end and then we're going to move on to making our flowers so that we can add them to the straps of the bag in the front for the flower you're going to do a magic ring and then you're going to either chain three for your first DC or you can chain one single crochet and then chain one and single crochet into the single crochet. I prefer this method because it avoids gaps 
when you close it off. Just a little hack that I learned along the way. And then you're going to proceed making nine double crochet into the ring. Now you're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet or chain, either or, depending on which method you used. Then you're going to fasten off and weave in the ends. Now that the ends have been weaved in, you're going to add the contrasting color. I'm using yellow and white, but you can use any color for your flowers. Now you're going to join with a single crochet and again using that method I'm chaining one and putting in another single crochet into the single crochet creating that first DC and I'm going to make 3 DC into the same stitch making a total of 4 DC. Then I'm going to chain 3 and slip stitch into the next stitch. And then you're going to chain 3 again making 4 DC into the next stitch. Now you're going to continue that pattern all the way around until the last stitch and I'll meet you back. Okay, now that we are at the end, I'm going to slip stitch into that last stitch and then chain three again. And you're going to slip stitch into that top single crochet or chain three depending which method you use you go chain one and fasten off make sure the strand is long enough so that you can sew on the flower okay for the flower um, you're gonna notice I changed the strand actually it's because we're gonna be sewing into each stitch through the strap around the ring of the flower now when you're stitching into each stitch make sure you're pulling the strand Tightly, that way the firm the flower is sewn on firmly and it doesn't wiggle on the straps and you don't have to use the same colors as I did you can use any color and get creative or add anything to it, it doesn't have to be a flower you can add hearts uh, bears etc now that your project is complete you can put your book into your new book sleeve now if you wanted to make this bag for a larger book or just to have a larger bag I'm thinking to make a tutorial to give step-by-step -step instructions on how to measure for that but mainly you would just have to make more rows going up and more stitches going across and the same would go for the panels but if you'd like a full tutorial on how to do that just let me know in the comments and this is our finished product I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial remember to like share and follow